Welcome to the Celtic Clan Kitchen. We're glad you're joining us today. Uh, we are making a French milled goat milk soap. This is also known as rebatching. Typically, I would be doing this with my kiddos. That's one of the benefits of a rebatched soap. Uh, this has already been completely saponified. It is a cold process soap bar that has been uh, shredded to be able to be reused and um, recreated into a new bar. And the littles like to join me in this process uh, because they get the chance to make real soap, as they call it. So what I'm doing now is weighing the soap and separating it into three different crock pots. We are going to be creating an all-natural soap using natural colorants and essential oils. And I'm planning on doing three different colors. One is going to be a neutral, one is going to be colored with purple Brazilian clay, and the third is going to be a French green clay. Uh, so I will be showing you later the process for preparing the clays to get them ready to add to the soap as it melts down. So as we continue to weigh out the soap here, I'll just explain a little bit about Celtic Clan Soapery. Uh, we've been creating soap as a family here for the last year. During the pandemic, uh, while the kids were home, we were looking for new indoor adventures and soaping was something that the kids really enjoy. Uh, we are a large family by today's standards with seven kids. Our oldest is 12 and our youngest is two. Uh, and they each have different parts that they like to participate in in the creation process, um, making a variety of products. So we'll be um, demonstrating a lot, uh, putting up some more videos with different projects that, that the kids like to participate in. So although I've been creating soap and other body uh, and skincare products for almost 20 years now, uh, this is the first time I'm doing any sort of YouTube uh, video, and so this is a little more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. So thank you for bearing with me as we go through this process. Uh, right now I'm measuring out aloe vera juice. This is uh, what I like to use instead of simply adding distilled water for the heat process, for the remelting. I like to add a little bit of aloe vera juice. Uh, I think it adds a creamy feel to the bars, and so that's what we're measuring out now. Uh, when you're rebatching, it's important to add just small amounts of water as you go, uh, checking periodically. You don't want to oversaturate your soap or you will just end up with suds in the crock pot. Uh, this is just to aid in the melting process. So in beginning to prepare the clays, the thing to remember is you want to ensure that they are fully mixed in uh, before adding them to the soap so that you don't get clumping. And I do just um, disperse the clays in distilled water and I use a mini mixer that you can use for frothing milk uh, just to help get them fully dispersed within the water. And now I had mentioned that this was a project the littles like to help with. Uh, you are able to purchase some pre-made soap that is ready for rebatching and one of the uh, distributors that are here in the Pacific Northwest is called Brambleberry and I'll put a link to that below. We typically rebatch our own soap uh, that we create either a hot process or cold process soap uh, that is repurposed for one reason or another either we didn't like the color or we wanted to add additional fragrance and so that's what the kids uh, the littles like to uh, help with in the kitchen. So we'll be showing some additional videos with some hot process and cold process soap as time goes on. 
So you can see here we've mixed in the Brazilian clay with the distilled water. And it's always best to start out at a low amount. Uh, you can always add more colorant later if you feel like an additional amount is needed. You are just not able to take it back. So it's always best to go slow, start out and check and see how you like the color and then move forward. And we're going to repeat the same process here with the French green clay. So we're going to speed this up a little uh, and watch the mixing process. So you were just watching the process of the soap actually melting down in the crock pot. That process takes anywhere from an hour to two hours depending on the batch size and the heat of your crock pot. I typically do it at a low heat. Uh, we are now adding the clay colorant to the melted soap preparation. And again, starting with a small amount, going back and reevaluating to determine how much we want to add for the final project. So the soap has now cooled to a temperature that it's safe to add the essential oils and today I'm using a blend of lemongrass, clary sage, and lavender. It's a very fresh, clean smelling summer scent. Now when using essential oils it's important to make sure that you're using blends and oils that are skin safe and that are at, used at the appropriate usage rate and that information can be found through various sources online. After molding the soap, I take all the leftovers and form them into a small ball. I keep these soap balls by my kitchen sink and they work perfect for hand soaps as I need to wash up. So 
the soap has sat overnight and continued to dry out. Uh, it doesn't need any cure time because as we mentioned before, the soap has been fully saponified. It's already so safe soap to use. We're just waiting for it to dry and to form in the new mold fashion that we've created. So we're unmolding it here. I'm using a silicone liner from Brambleberry. And this is a five pound loaf of soap. Now these bars will be available on our website and you can find that at CelticClanSoapery.com and I'll put a link to that below as well. I think the colors turned out nice. There's a subtle change in the hue between the natural colorant and the French green clay. But it's a very fresh and uh, summertime looking loaf of soap. So we're going to be cutting the individual bars here. I do enjoy this process. There's something cathartic and therapeutic about soap making. Uh, it has been a relaxation and a relief over the last year, I must say. So it's not just the kids who enjoy it. I get to enjoy this time too. So we're continuing to cut the bars. And each bar is approximately four and a half to five ounces. Uh, it's a hefty size bar that feels nice in the hand. And as we continue to cut this bar, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch today. Uh, let me know your thoughts and what other kinds of projects and soaps you would like to see uh, in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more. Uh, we're new to this, so we're just getting started. This is all a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, so we'll continue and hopefully become a little more proficient at this process.